Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out a very interesting game indeed. This is Apico, and the best way that I can possibly describe this game uh, is the fact that it is a apiary management style game where you are responsible for looking after bees and making a whole bunch of decisions with regards to what you produce and honey and selling things. It's great. There's also some very, very heavy sort of like tycoon elements, development uh, development uh, elements in the game as well. Uh, it is a very, very interesting uh, game indeed, uh, and I am very, very, very excited to play it. Uh, joining us today, we have got uh, Alexa, uh, who is going to be my beekeeping buddy, and uh, we're going to have a great time keeping some bees together. So how do we play? What's the situation? What have we got going on here? We are beekeepers that need to make our living on this happy little island. Um, that's going to involve us stealing resources from these chests that exist on the dock. Uh, and then, oh, you just see this guy pop out of nowhere? Director, Director Bumblebore? <laughs> he was in a chest. <laughs> what the? How did he get stuck in there? I have no idea. That's a, a question mark for sure. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to probably have a little little nice explore find somewhere to to call her home and maybe head head west as the the americans did in in the escape from your homeland and right. uh i suppose they weren't necessarily americans at the time that they escaped that kind of came as a an afterthought <laughs> but uh we can chop down some trees we can make our living as as beekeepers and as the goal is basically make Breed a bunch of bees, make a bunch of honey, and then sell all of that honey to the the people in the town to get money to buy more bees, and then Ooh. rinse repeat. So you're telling me it's a tycoon game as well? It, it, it hits another hits another buzzword. I know how to pick them. What can I say? Ooh. Uh, okay. Question: Can we sabotage other people's beehives? Uh, you can straight up steal people's bees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so any of these hives, like this hive right here has bees in it. And and you can like click on it and you can see the, the queen going inside of this hive right now. Um, there are some bees back in the town too. You, you can just pluck them right out of the hives. In fact, you can just steal the entire hive and nobody cares at all. Um, I love it. So, yeah. There's also this little guide system that we've got, which I think we're like roughly going to be following. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we're going to roughly follow it. We've kind of done the, the starting steps, and, and now now we're kind of in the, the rest of the steps. And I believe that so our, our guides are not synced together. Um, they, they are separate, so we, we can kind of just complete them together as we nice. go. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to go grab us uh, a workbench. Okay. Do you... For... Uh, do you like this area that's like right next to the the town? Uh, yeah. Okay. The the area that we just sort of uh, sort yeah of that we just kind of yeah. yeah. I feel like that makes a lot of sense to just stay here. Yeah, I it's like a it. it's a big world too. So um, there's a map in your inventory, and we're in like the top right quadrant of the map, and it's it's not necessarily like randomly generated I, I think it's more of a procedural generation because there's still some stuff that like spawns in the world a la minecrafty in in ways right. um but yeah we we can kind of work work our way exploring and, and finding new bee species around the world and different biomes and stuff like that so a lot to do there's I a lot just to love, do i love bees i love bees irl you know that I, you know what, we we have actually discussed this IRL together about your love for bees. I am a big fan of bees. I would love to keep some bees. Can you see yourself keeping some bees in the future? I I think it's it's extremely logical that eventually I would I would own a hive. My my girlfriend's father is a beekeeper, and the the big issue is so I'm I'm actually my my grandmother and my mother are both allergic to bees. And I have never been stung by a bee in my life. So there's basically like a 
uh, like forty five percent chance that I'm probably allergic to to bees as well. That's okay though, because if you just never get stung, exactly. You'll be if you're a good fine. beekeeper, then you never get stung. Okay. So it's kind of a win win. Yeah, you just need to not be a terrible beekeeper. Yeah. You have found us a, a beautiful workbench. It looks amazing. Yeah, I need to go get us some logs. I you <laughs> let let it be known. There's 195 right there. Because <laughs> uh, I have cleared this area out. Beautiful, because I left all of my logs in the workbench at the other side of the world. So that's beautiful. Fine. Get that down. Uh, what Amazing. do we need? What do we need? Well, I think we need to probably make some some planks. And then the, the carpentry planks that we make in the saw bench will allow us to progress with the, the rest of the game. So okay. I'm just going to make us all of the little unique tables. Okay. There we go. There, you you are slamming them in for sure. And I think that should be it. So okay. I will make us I'll make us some more planks then if you want. Okay. I I keep I keep the the chopping going. Okay. Uh, I my axe is dead. <laughs> I have chopped okay. so much I, I no longer have an axe. So I will, your... I will not be chopping any longer. Make yourself a new one. I should make myself a new one, although I believe that I have given you all of my wood. And also the wood planks you, you have all of. So There you go. I, I think I think I'm gonna make a an additional additional little saw bench so that you Good and call. I can both both do some sawing. Little, little little happy saw together. Good call. Guys that saw together stay together, right? <laughs> It's also very satisfying to saw back and forth on the saw bench. It is immensely satisfying. Yep. And all of this stuff can get like automated as time goes on. Oh. Yeah. This is whisper me more sweet nothings. It's, it's a beautiful little game for sure. And the the whole reason that we're even playing this by the way is not because uh, I asked Orbital to play Fortnite and he threatened to end their relationship, but instead uh, that Apico has had a a huge new release coming to the game that adds in fishing and underwater exploration and, and new content. So there's there's much to see. Ooh, very nice. Very exciting. I've I've never played it before and honestly, I'm I'm really digging this. It feels really it's some good stuff. It feels I played really it a nice. while back and honestly, the, one of my biggest complaints about the game was it reached a point where it was actually overwhelming the amount of stuff to do in it. And the entire time I was thinking, if I just had another person to play with, it would be a lot better. So here we are. If I could just tell Orbital to do all of the boring stuff. Exactly. Then I would, would have fun. <laughs> so much more entertaining. <laughs> exactly. Right. Okay. Um, I have completed some quests and I now have a, a beehive. Nice. Where would you like me to put it? Do you, do you like I'm, this little area over here? Are you feeling I'm, down here? I'm thinking exactly over here, you know? Because okay. I'm thinking that bees over here, we maybe have our house down in this area here. Okay. Uh, does that sound agreeable to you? I'm going to try. It sounds like, amazing. I'm going to try. I'm going to destroy this rock. Do you have a pickaxe? Uh, yes, although I need a stronger pickaxe apparently, mm. so ignore me. I can destroy these. <laughs> Little rocks, okay. but apparently I can't swing at the big stuff. Nope, gonna gonna need gonna need some better things. Gonna need beefier. Okay. Uh, we can also so the the hammer allows us to pick up these uh, buildings that you spammed all over our ground. Okay. Which is probably a good thing. Um, Maybe useful. Yeah, I also think so. There's these uh, these tree taps, right? single-use tree tap used to extract resin from a tree. Uh, I have a feeling that resin probably going to be pretty useful at some point. Okay. So I, I think I'm going to make some. I'll get one on that tree. Uh, oh, brilliant. Uh, I was going to put them on maybe these trees just sitting out on this island over here so that we don't chop them down, but you, you know go, what? You know what? <laughs> Actually, just go for it. You know what, Orbital Pota? What, whatever you say, brother. I'm here. Yeah. That's that's me, Orbital Pata. Okay, Orbital so Pata. I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get a better axe. I'm gonna get rid of that stone. I'm gonna get ourselves a house, and then we can start chatting about making some money. Because quite frankly, I'm thirsty for honey, 
Neil, and I'm all out of sugar. <laughs> have you uh, have you uh, indulged in homemade mead ever in your life? <sighs> this is one of the reasons why I am. I don't want to say Wanting desperate. Wanting to be a, uh, a beekeeper. Yeah. yeah. I, I was I was so confused cute. the first time that I had mead. Um, okay. Because I was under the impression that mead was always super sweet because it's, it's literally honey wine, right? Oh. Um, oh, look What's at you. What's this? What is this? I don't know. It, I mean, it looks like a beehive to me. Undiscovered bee. Click here to learn more. Oh, my goodness. It's like Pokemon. <laughs> I got a rocky bee. Amazing. Okay. You're going to have to talk me... You're gonna talk me through how bees work in just a sec, but yeah, uh, it's easy. They're they're just bees. <laughs> but no, did you did you know that uh, did you know that mead can be dry like like wine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so had it's, no clue. It's all to do with the alcohol content. Uh, it's not. It's the amount of honey that they put in. <laughs> um, I think you're you don't you clearly don't know anything about bees. Uh, well, actually. I, I'm not a beekeeper. That's why we're doing the series so we can learn a little <laughs> more about it. Maybe I'm um, maybe I'm barking up the wrong bee uh, here, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just not even a good one. <laughs> you know what? If you laugh, it's a good one. Yeah, as far you know, as I'm concerned, actually, I think that's totally fair. <laughs> and I did laugh. I, I, I did. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. What is this? Let's get. Okay, I'm gonna get ourselves. Oh, look at him go! Look at this. He's going crazy. It's well, gonna I... be a thin and long house. <laughs> okay. Sure. That is interrupted by a beehive in the middle. <laughs> I I can get the beehive going. Oh my lord! I'm in a I'm on a Pokemon collection screen. That's <laughs> a rough <rushy> right. <laughs> Learn more. Okay. There's a lot to learn. The house I mean, looks I, beautiful. I should have known that of all the people that we should uh, have building the house, you would be clearly the best one after all I, the Minecraft experiences we've been through. I'm thinking that maybe we have an open plan house. I'm thinking this. Okay. It kind of looks like a car, you know? <laughs> okay. Now I'm having scrap mechanic flashbacks, and that's even oh worse. Oh my goodness but... gracious me. Hold on. No. Oops. Right. Oh, I have a new book that's uh, all the bees. Do you also have yeah. some? Yeah, yeah, I do indeed. Oh, there's a lot of bees. There is a lot of bees. Okay, so talk me through bees. How do we? How do we do it? So, so here's here's the gist that I understand. There's different kinds of bees. Um, they will breed. If you basically just do like two of the same kind of bee. So right now in our hives, just so you know, I moved okay. all of our hives to the top left. Okay. We have a, a verge queen. We have a, a almond queen. And then okay. we have a rocky queen. Gotcha. Each one of them has like unique uh, flowers that it, it likes and traits that it likes. So our, our Verge Queen and our Common Queen, you'll see right now that they have the little dot, 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 like they want to give us a quest in an RPG. Okay. Um, they're sleeping right now because these right. bees are not nocturnal. But okay. the Rocky Queen is nocturnal, so they're awake and doing well. Um, okay. I wanted to think that the Rocky Queen needed rocks as their, their flower of choice, but maybe that is an incorrect statement because it appears that they are still hitting the the red and yellow flowers um when i open up their their little Ev thing. everybody loves the yellow flowers by the looks of things they they seem to be enjoying it a lot now i'm pretty sure the flowers that we plant near the hives impacts the honey that gets made oh, so that's another thing for us to to think about get a get a little tupelo get a little uh that's the only honey pipe i know <laughs> uh, manuka uh excuse me don't know uh, what a manuka is. Heather? That's just a, a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, a last named Heather. Uh, 
I'm out of honey types too, yep. to be fair. Yeah. So, a lot, I mean, a lot for us to learn is the reality. As we become the best best beekeepers on, on this side of the nut house. This side of the nut house. Wow, that's. It's, quite it's going great, though. I do. I'm a little confused about our, our car house. Our tar like, house. Because it, it just kind of. It's a really open plan. I think in, in the rain, we're going to have some issues for it's sure. It's not rained yet, though. It hasn't rained yet, but weather does exist. In general? I mean, yes, but also in the game. Eh. And we're going to, it's going to get a little wet because we currently don't have any walls. <laughs> I mean, we have four walls, four very distinct walls, but. I it's think just a bit you, of a question mark. That's all. I think you just need to appreciate, you know, the little things. Yeah. Also, dude, look at the look at this is like it's flower haven down here. It is nutty down yeah. here. It's it's going absolutely insane. We we should also so I, I know that we want to make sure that our, our bees are are doing their thing and going crazy. Uh, also, this this tree is completely tapped and ready to go, brother. Oh, go for it! Take it. I, I don't. I, I think we need. I think I need this. Yeah, and then I I put this right here. Always draining. Oh, you love it. To is see happily it. drained. We we have a a resin wooden canister that very is nice. partially filled. Very very nice. We have a very filled canister. It's got got like three hundred and seventy five bucket liters. I don't know what BL stands for. Billow luckets. Billow luckets. <laughs> it's probably that actually. It's, yeah, it's got to be that. It. Yeah. Billow luckets. Yeah. Billow luckets. Yeah. It's billow, probably billow luckets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wanna. I also I wanna... think so. I think bees. Um, improve the chance for flowers to appear yeah they definitely so i placed down the flowers and all these little green stalks immediately popped into existence yeah there is a lot there's a lot of stuff yeah uh, there's okay. my inventory is crazy full too like I, yeah. I gotta figure this out mine too mine's a little a little busy okay and i i see you have uh one started with various green related things i'm gonna start another one that is all wood related things oh, autumn is uh, gonna be wood related green related was definitely what i intended to do and i did not intend to just dump my inventory into any random crate perfect Re the ideal scenario i'm really glad that that was you know we're on the same page of course recognized yep okay right I have got the ability to paint the floor. <laughs> the most important <laughs> thing we can do. <laughs> so I have now done that. Okay. Um, I need to make a shovel so I can dig up this flower stock. Oh, I can give you a shovel, actually. Uh, you know what? I, I need to make a shovel per my, my questing. So, okay. all right, sure. Give me the shovel. That's fine. It did actually fix the, the scenario I needed. Yeah, so. There you go. It's, it's all good. I knew it would. Okay, I, I have at least had a couple hives. Tapping trees. Oh yes, a it's rain just, tank. I, it's just so much to do, man. There is a lot. There's a lot of stuff. It's to do. it's overwhelming. We we got to get our our priorities straight, and then uh, we'll move move on with our day. I feel like we need that. We need to have like a a crate up here just for our bee related things. You know. Okay, I can build. Uh, I can build this one. That'd be fantastic. There's also so there's a, a little button inside of the the hives where when the hive is completed, you can click the button and it just auto puts the bees back in and like re regrows them so to speak. Sure. So something something of note to to do. Um, this might sound like a really stupid question, but it is. have we? Have we got any honey? Uh, we we have. I have ten honeycombs in my inventory. Here, 
I, I, there, oh, there you go. This is the good stuff. This is exactly what I was looking for because I think that's going to allow me to make nothing. <laughs> nothing. Really? Nothing at all. Nothing Brilliant. at all that I care about. Perfect. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. Uncapping bench, wood frames. Do you want to get a sophisticated hive? Like a, like a proper proper hive? We, we can. A proper apiary. Indeed. Which I think is that sword that fencers use. Really? <laughs> didn't, didn't even get a chuckle, to be honest. Thought that one it's was pretty good. It's because it wasn't funny. Yeah, it was... Problem from time to time. It's gotta be funny to. Uh, I found a be person worth laughing at. I kill him. <laughs> Their name is Doctor Stowe Beelit, B H D. Uh, can you can you clarify that he actually does have a B H D? Uh, it's a woman. You sexist. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can lovely. I'm Doctor Beelit, but everyone calls me Stowe. All right. She's selling, I mean, dude, she's selling all kinds of stuff. Oh, she sells, she's a butterfly person. She gives a butterfly box and a, oh, this is going to be a hell of a word to say, a lepidopterarium, which I believe is probably a special house for butterflies. And then she also sells a butterfly hotel. Okay, cool. Uh, and we can buy the butterfly box for 500 rubies. And I mean, not sure if you've noticed, we have zero rubies. I do. Um, we have got... I, we do have a, a few ways of getting rubies. Probably by selling rude things. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Okay, let's look. Then we're on our way. I have so many bees, man. <laughs> it's it's actually my inventory is a mess. How do I what do I do with this resin wood stuff? No clue. Yeah. I feel like I, I should I should be taking a look at our uh our guide here. And get building, screw that. Flower power. I just gotta go pick some flowers. Honestly, this seems very peaceful. Yeah, I think I've got to do that as well. And then what's this other one that we need? Forest bee. Do we have a forest bee? Uh, we do. The The green hive has forest bees. It's fine. So if you run around and find green hives, that'll yeah get the job done for you. Okay. I've not populated our hive, by the way. Okay. There, There's then... a lot of bees in the chest if you would like to, to populate the hive. I believe so, and this may you, this may be a. Uh, I'm thinking this from the Minecraft days and not from the Apico days. I'm pretty sure that we can't breed bees in these beehives, but we can no. breed them in the apiary. Yeah, I think we need a bee inhibitor or something, or bee. I think you can it. breed them in the apiary for sure. It's called a. Oh no, that's a rehabilitator. Brilliant. Basic apiary. Oh yeah, yeah. Bees can be bees and apiaries can be crossbred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's where we're gonna get into the the nonsense for sure because that's gonna allow us to breed different species of bee together, which will in turn unlock new species of bee, which then produce different things, which then give us different resources, and it it all spirals from there. So I'm I'm excited for this. I though I need to figure out how to waterproof this waterproofing. Made from lily pads. I guess I can collect some lily pads. I just clicked through way too many things. Yeah, me too. That's... Uh, did you just go through the entire menu magic uh, section? Uh, yeah. I I mean I I've done a lot of I've done a lot of clicking to be fair. Yep. Have you read any of it? Um, I don't want to say no. Okay. So I did look at it as I clicked through it, but it was too quick for my eyes to take all the information in. It, it was quite a lot, for sure. I'm going to put this bench inside our house, and then I'm, I'm pretty sure I can sit on the bench, and then, oh, yep. You can hold R, and uh, 
if you hold R while sitting on the bench, you respawn back at your spawn point. Which so in is, that case, it spawned yeah. us back at spawn, or me back at spawn, I should say. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I also have a, a little pocket watch that tells us the the weather, the cycle of the moon, and the climate we're in. Nice. Clear skies today, waxing crescent. Okay. Very important for everything we're doing right now, for sure. I am building what's called an infuser, apparently. Okay. So this is going to hopefully be... We're going to be able to get... Uh, we're going to be able to turn that resin into something useful. Some resined planks, perhaps? I think so. And resined sticks? I think so. So I got a rain tank. I'm doing, I'm doing some proper proper chopping of some wood, just, just so we have planks for days. Just I'm going to turn all these planks into sticks. We'll have everything. Just some good, honest work, you know? Yep. It is uh, hard work, but somebody has to do it. Well, and this didn't. way, I don't have to read any menus, and I can just focus on uh, saying stupid stuff. Well, <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing great. Okay, this is a rainwater tank, so when it rains... When the weather water. actually turns on, we're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be doing good. I love it. You ever and watch then, uh, the Truman Show? Yeah, absolutely, great film. Yeah, it's, it's a really good film. For some reason, when you said when when the rain turns on, I immediately thought of the the scene where he's standing there and they dump the bucket of water on him and they like moves a couple feet to the left and they move the water so it hits him a couple couple feet to the left. Good. Uh, what is it? Good evening, good morning, and good night. Yep. In case, in case I don't see you. <laughs> it's a great movie. I just watched a, it on a... Honestly, I watched it on a flight coming back from your, your wedding. Really? I watched Truman Show, yeah. It's... I mean, it's not exact... I mean... It's not exactly... I wouldn't say it's a feel-good film. No, I think it's actually kinda? an incredibly depressing film. Yeah. Yeah. But what can yeah. I say? I was feeling depressed. <laughs> Le leaving the the wild country of the UK because you you just uh, I just loved it so much. You <laughs> was already missing my good friend so much. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep, yeah, that must be it. That must be it. <laughs> we gotta. We, this is looking nice. Uh, I mean, our car house is completely underutilized. I mean, it's, we're doing we, all we of do this have outside. All of our work in, uh, outside of the house for sure, but. It's moving along. I mean, I'm I'm quite pleased. It's a little chaotic. I mean, there's there's some chaos energy going on with this, but we're we're getting our footing. I think that's a good thing. I advanced apiary. Okay, I'm making I'm making an advanced apiary. A swarmer sacrifices production to to increase offspring produced. Mm. That's good. I feel like we probably want more production of, of honey at this point uh, than having more bees that we already have like a hundred thousand of oh uh, yeah it's i mean was that a joke no it was not i i'm genuinely like we have a lot of bees so a swarmer is not something i need we have a lot of honey um do we yeah i'm collecting it right now uh, actually, to be fair, not that much. I'm going to let you... Uh, you know what you're talking about with the bee stuff. I, so um, I'm going to teach you. So I can no longer teach you, to be fair, because I just did all of them. There, did... There's a little button yeah. on the right side. Just hit that button, and it puts the bees right back in. They're good to go. So um, do the, reg do the regular bees become queens if they're not in... Or, uh, Kind of. If you take two regular bees and you breed them in a hive, it eats one of them and the other becomes a queen. Right, gotcha. Which, okay, granted, is not how beekeeping works in real life. So, if no. you were watching this video to learn how to beekeep, you are on the wrong part of YouTube. You're going to have a mistake. Don't get eaten by bees. Um, no. I want to make some, some cash today. I think that we can, for what it's worth. Okay. Okay. Tell me how. What's your what's your great proposal? So here's the problem. You're typically the the 
brains of the operation and I'm, I'm more of the bronze of the operation so I was really hoping you had a plan for how to make some money <laughs> um, I mean first of all like we gotta supply and demand what do people want uh, that's a great question to be honest with you I I don't know I mean I'd imagine they probably want honey right like honey probably sells for a, a little bit we are ma you're making a lot of infused sticks. That's exciting. Yep. A lot of infused um, sticks, a lot of infused planks. I've got have a look at this. We've got two hives. One which okay. is a basic apiary. One is an advanced apiary and then there's also a swarmer which when I've got more infused planks I'll make. But maybe we make the sort of equipment for this. Put some good bees in here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, um, that seems like a good idea. I do have, so I, I have a, a blessed common bee. If you take okay. a look, so take a look in this uh, large crate here. Gotcha. And Ooh. if you look, you see that shiny guy? Yeah. There's, there's three shiny ones, actually. Um, they have certain stats on them when you hold shift. Um, gotcha. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, don't really know what those stats mean, but... I have a feeling that those stats are better than, like, the blessed ones are, are better. There, I mean, the, this so probably I'll, explains I'll, this somewhere. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you yeah. what it is. The top one is lifespan. The second one is productivity. The third one is fertility. And the fourth one is stability. I see. You read that right off of traits part one and traits part two inside of Belia's Almanac? No. <laughs> I, I see. Uh, okay. I mean, the common common bee seems a little basic, to be honest. He, he seems like a basic boy, for it sure. It seems perfect, right? Like, yeah. It is so interestingly. There's, if you click on the common bee, he's got a special produce, which he makes okay. uh, bee pollen. Yeah. But then the forest bee makes sticky pearls. Oh, look at and this! The we can breed. And the bird bee, we don't know yet. We can and breed. Then, yes. We can breed. We can breed. If we breed, we get some new bee. So I wonder if we should we should get the apiaries to be our, our breeding boys. Okay. Let me actually well first of all, I should make a bee box to keep the all store our all species our bees. in. I think that's yeah. a great point, yeah. Yeah, let me do that. Let me do that real not quick. Let me do that in okay. time when I figure out how to get the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what about While you yeah. do that? I'm gonna make a couple more canisters so that we can. Uh, we 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 got to make sure that we're getting this resin. Like, oh, I've oh, I've got like don't. I've got three on me actually. I'm. Oh, okay, brilliant. We yeah, actually need more. Those. We need more taps though, actually, because okay, we're I, I can work on that too. You wanna do taps? That's cool. I've, I've got four more taps. Do you just Beautiful. want them on the trees out here? Anywhere, I think. Okay. Ironically enough, we only really need honey. Okay. It's a good thing we got bees. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to be a pretty good... So I, got, I got five more honeycombs here. Take those suckers. That would be great, because that's going to allow me to make... a thing. Brilliant. I, I do enjoy things. I also think that there's there's gonna be a little bit of value in us uh, breeding up some some bees now. Some new species, yeah. Yeah, and that way we we can start to explore some of the other uh, special produce they have to offer. You know. Okay. I feel like the more yeah, so like you got the frame in here. Yeah. Do you want to stick frame one is, bee in is there? Great. Uh, yes, we should. I. The game just crashed. I was disconnected. In terms of our... Um... Oh, these trees are fully drained. How do, you, how do yeah. we get rid of... How, like, how do we put a new tap on a tree? Do we just got to chop down the tree at that point? I think so. Maybe also... I, I can plant some more... Some more trees. There's also... Oh, you grabbed the... Uh, yeah, there's 151 acorns in this one bucket. Or in this one barrel. Yeah, I've, I have a hundred, so like... Yeah, we're... yeah, yeah. Oh, we got plenty. Okay. Yeah, you're just going sickle mode now. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I think we should try to breed a bee in, in this beehive up here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, a common bee and I'm going to take a verge bee and we're going to put them in there and hope for the best and see what they do. And we'll just kind of track and, and see what we need to try to get. And this is something that I can work on. We need to get a microscope. Yeah. How do we do that? Uh, that's a great question. Because if we get a microscope, then we can start to kind of analyze what the bees are in terms of their, like, recessive and, and dominant traits. Nice. So we'll, we'll get there, I think. Um, I think I'm, okay. I'm close to that. I, I just need a little bit more honey. And then I can uh, get through the, the questing guide a little bit. That's cool. Uh, I have got one I've, I've got no honey because i've just made another frame yeah i've got I think five is... frames are good so frames are going to now collect the honey instead of it putting the hives or the the combs in there but then we can basically spin the hives and extract honey from them yeah. um and that's i'm gonna tell you i've done it in real life that's an adventure I can believe that. And spinning sounds, them hives is, is a wild experience. It sounds pretty intense. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on a little adventure to see if I can try and find some hives to, like, pillage. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, and just, like, find find honey inside of them. Yeah, that's kind of like idea. what I'm looking for, you know? Yeah, it's a very good idea. Because we need a few we need a few more uh, need a few more honeys. Yeah. Just make sure, it went, as you go to those hives, collect uh, the honey and make sure you put the bees back in. Verge queen, yeah, got that. Uh, that got way that we uh, get get some profit out of this as well. Keep them, keep them going. Keep them going. Okay. Honestly, just, I'm finding blessed bees along the way too. There's honestly so many hives at the, the village that I'm just stealing <laughs> all of the resources from. Schmucks. It's it's kind of a perfect uh, perfect system, all things considered. I mean, why are we even doing this? Like, we should just steal Other from everybody people. else. We we just completely change the series from being beekeepers to being criminals. Bee thievery, bee thievery. Yeah. If we kill all the people in the town too, then we don't have to worry about uh, getting caught stealing from it's, their hives. But then I guess we're just beekeepers at that point. If there's no people and we just have their hives and we're managing them. I, oh, yeah, and then actually, we're back to square zero. So That sounds a bit too close to being like hard work, actually. Yeah, beekeepers. I will say, I mean, we, we can literally, I can just pick up some of these beehives and bring them back. But I mean, that's, I actually, yeah. I, I don't think we're wanting for hives, to be honest. It's It's just like a productivity thing. And I feel like the more the more we get here, the more it's going to become diluted. Oh, we got a frame, a filled wooden frame of honey. Brilliant. Ah, nice. Here, here's the main reason we still need some hives, though, is we still need to be able to... Yeah, um, be able to. We, we still need combs for crafting purposes. Oh, that's true, actually, yeah. So we, we do have to keep some along the way. But we'll we'll get there. I'm I'm not worried. There there's okay. a nice big crate down here. I'm yep. gonna turn that crate into all bee related like production stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm mainly, we're, I'm just spitballing on how to make these uh, crates even remotely organized. I've played enough modern Minecraft with you to know that there is no shot that any of our stuff will be really organized. Oh, no, like none We got to get at least pseudo organized. Okay. A filled uncapping bench. Okay. That's a good, that's exactly what we need. Yeah, yeah I think I'm just going to I think I'm going to go build it, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we're going to make some honey. That's the whole point of the episode, I suppose. 
If we get some I honey, think, we're, we're golden. I think the game, actually. I, it is a big part of the game as well, yeah. Oh, it's, I tell you what, it's really satisfying to chop wood in this game. It, it is one of, like, chopping wood is always, like, the grindiest thing to do in a survival game. And in this one, it's just, like, spam click a couple times and wood's gone. It's, it's like a, it's not even, it's so good, it's so good. They, they managed to take a lot of the grind out of this game. I feel like we're quite far on already, you know? Yeah. It just kind of, like it just kind of moves along. I feel like we've done a lot of good, a lot of good bee stuff. Yeah, it's, it's very good. And we haven't even touched, like, uh, a half of the game. Have you stolen all of those honeycombs? No. Okay, I maybe stole a few. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely needed those honeycombs. I mean, it's, I, it's hold on. It's gaining my progress to make it a microscope. I only, I, I'll, I'll give you, a, I'll give you like two in a sec. I need seven in order to just hit claim on a quest. That's it. I don't even, you can have them right back. There you go, there you go, there you go. Have, have them back. Okay, you know, shut up. Stop moaning, okay? Honestly, get out of here. And the best part is it gives you 10 in return. So now you have 20. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't need. It's a great return on your investment, let me tell you. It's, I know, but like the downside was that I had to endure you just moaning throughout oh half God. of it. He's <laughs> the freaking worst, I know. <laughs> what a guy. Uh, is there a button that allows you to automatically like just free up do the entire half game. your inventory <laughs> uh no unfortunately well, you can you can hold shift uh actually there is the the top right you see the little uh thing that's an arrow pointing to a crate it's quick store it'll just basically dump your inventory into a crate if it has matching stuff in that crate nice so pretty i mean it's pretty useful for sure what's in the box yeah i can see that being useful have you have you been making a, a bee box? Uh, no, because I needed something. Although okay. I was gonna make it, wasn't I? And have you made a a predictor? You have. That's very exciting. Have I? Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, made yeah, a predictor. Yeah. <laughs> Great work. Thank you. Finally, somebody <laughs> recognizes what I've done. Okay. Okay. So here's. Here's what we're going to do. We, we have a Verge Queen, right? Okay. This Verge Queen, theoretically, it, it's in the apiary right now. Theoretically, this Verge Queen is a combination of Verge and Common. So I'm going to shove her in the Predictor. Okay. And in the Predictor, you can see that she is like full-blown Verge. So something went really wrong with our uh, process here. Right. Because we want them to be a mix of verge and common. And eventually it will unlock a like trait or something that turns them into a uh, whatever other bee it is. So I'm going Given to recombine a verge and common in that apiary and hope it makes something new. Do you have any uh, frames by any chance? I do. Here's your frame. Thank you. You've been, you've been, you stole it. I can't believe. I you did took steal it, it in order to complete a quest. <laughs> but I, I, you have to understand that the questing is very important. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important. All right. Collect my honey. There, dude. There's just something. The the grind of opening each beehive. Holding shift, dragging over the honey, getting it into your inventory, and then hitting the little button to send the bees right back to work. It's some good stuff. It's it is actually like omega satisfying. It's it's real good. Okay. I interestingly, so I've got prop propolis now. Oh. Which is the waxy stuff on the outside of the frames yep. that I've uncapped. Did, did so now uncapped? I need now I need to get an extractor. Okay. So there are a lot of steps to making honey, believe it or not. Um, we're almost there, you know. Yep. We we're gonna Think. probably need a bottler as well at some point. Yeah. It's just yeah. another another step. 
It's a lot I of stuff. Of... God, I need a lot of treated frames. Oh, I see. The treated frames are better because they've got more durability. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. 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 Okay. That's cool. I couldn't use one of them. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The uh, the the honeying process is taking a little bit of time, and I'm gonna need quite a lot of glue in order to make uh, a few of the required components. Okay. How how can I help get you glue? Um, I, not much. I don't think. Like we just we need the we need the frames. Okay. So the so basically get it from the. From scraping off the stuff here. And then, yeah, we're able to get... It takes two to make a single glue. So I need ten glue in order to make an extractor. And I've got three. Okay. So we basically just need a lot more frames. I th think so. Yeah. Okay, I can I can make a lot more frames, actually. I don't know why I'm moaning at you. I, it's just kind of what you do best. I You're not wrong. Yeah. But we all, we also, I mean, we we could use more apiaries because the more apiaries we have, the more f frames we fill, and the more frames we fill, the more stuff we get. To be fair, you're for once like Bond. absolutely one hundred percent correct. Although that being said, we might. I, I've just built four frames, which I think is. Near enough the theoretical maximum. Okay. If I take this out, hold on. Yeah, we can sit. We slaps hive. We can fit so many of these frames in here. It's, it, we do have to now fit a lot of frames in inside of hives. I'm Which I'm going fun. to work on. I think that I could possibly get us another three to four apiaries in the next like five minutes really yeah i do i know that, well, that that seems like such a chaotic number but it's the honest to goodness truth oh i discovered a bee oh did our uh did our common become something uh no i think i was just horrific a vibrant bee yeah, that was yeah. You you just ignored the entire process of the miracle of life up there. No, I I made it though. Like I made it. Yeah, it I was in the apiary. I made it. Uh, sure, I think the bee made it. <laughs> and technically, I made it because I put the bee in there. No, I put the. I literally put the bee. I literally, I made it. That is incorrect. But that's okay. okay. I'm I'm happy uh, it exists. Okay. It's, it's okay, quite look, good. you know what? We got we got some good news, right? That's good news. This is fantastic I, news. I'm very happy about having a vibrant bee. And now the, the vibrant bee, what we should do is we should So you you need to take that vibrant bee. Do you, do you have them? It's in the hive. Which hive? The small one. Okay, brother, I Love you to death. There's 13 small hives. No, the the I I'm not I'm not messing oh, with the oh, honey oh, ones. Oh, 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 the oh, oh, oh. sorry, the apiary one. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm I'm gonna take that guy out of there for a second. Cause I'm gonna teach you something about this bee. I'm going down to the predictor. Okay. Okay. So at the predictor, when we put this bee in. You're going to see that his dominant traits are he's a, a vibrant bee, which is why he's a vibrant bee. But he okay. still has the recessive gene of a common bee in there. <laughs> sure. So what could happen is when this guy dies, if that recessive dream... <laughs> I can't... Dream. Speak, <laughs> if that recessive gene takes over, he could turn back into a common. So what we want to do is we want to probably... This, this is where the swarmer is valuable because we use that to get more babies of that bee so then now we can breed more vibrant bees and get more of them purify the lineage exactly they're oh, that's they're great, so freaking smart that's that's a great vibe honestly yep 
So we got to keep our eyes on that bee. What, what, what we have to do is we have to, we almost have to, to have like proper documentation about what, what bees we're, we're currently breeding. Because like right now, the, that bee in the, the big apiary, he's just a completely effed up bee. He, he is a common verge. He, he's not even like a, a pure common or a pure verge. He's just all messed up. So he probably has, if we put him in the predictor, I guarantee you he's got, yeah, he's got, he'll, this, this guy's traits are all over the place. Okay, I just filled up the, uh, these other two apiaries with just some, some common boys. So nice. they're, they're just kind of some... producing. We would love to get frames in there. Yeah, I'll make a few frames. How about that? Yeah. So glue is what we need for the extractor. Yeah. Yep, that is that is in fact the case. Oh, an uncapper, a centrifuge. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be soon. Yeah, we need these these cogs as well. I don't know how we get the cogs. Cogs more like pogs. Yeah, that requires glue too. Yeah, we need like a lot of glue. We need so much glue. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, let's see. I have accidentally yeah. turned on a tooltip of some kind. Yeah, okay. Everything is good, dude. There's a lot of good stuff happening. I will and, say. and we have a lot of hives, which means that we're we're bringing in honeycombs at a fairly regular regular pace as well. Yeah. Like I just spent 20 of them on those apiaries. I'm already back up to seven. Like it, it just flows. Gonna do There's a little a inventory little... cleanup. I just want to sell honey, you know. I, we're we're getting there, okay? We're I know, but there. I'm I'm like I want to. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I, I get it. I'm ready. Uh, do you have any more honeycombs by any chance? I got eight. Happy birthday. Thank you. I will make one more frame for this bit right here we we got there are there's more room for frames up there than we know what to do with there is a lot of room for frames yeah but there's one in each and if there's one in each then that means that we're gonna be able to get as much as we need yeah i think i've, I've already got three filled frames man i'm i'm unpacking them you uh i'm i'm gluing I've got five glue. I've got five glue. Oh, I got great news for you. I've got, I've, I've got 13 glue for you. Oh, beautiful. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Oh, that's going to be enough. Oh, and by completing the achievement, I just got another two frames. Oh, brilliant. They go okay. right back into the system. Reinvest the profits. It never ends. Is nonstop. Beekeeping is kind of a cheat code, dude. It literally, it literally is. It's like is. no work. All you do is click and drag, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you want to do the owners? You want to be the first person to use the extractor? Oh, I would love to. I really would. Is that this right here? Oh, my God, dude. It has a DRPM. Okay. A, a derpum. A derpum. I'm, I'm going to put the frames into the, the thing, and then I'm, I'm spinning. Oh, and it has a, a tiny bit of, uh, like, friction when you pull down on it. Oh, yeah? Oh, my lord. Look at the resources flow, dude. Oh, my. The beeswax, Holy bee lordy. pollen. Oh, fantastic. I and we got honey. That, uh, we, we did get some honey. I will also say, so these, these seeds, you see the goldenrod seeds? Yeah. Those are a plant we don't have. So we have breeded plants together in the process of breeding our, our bees. And now we have oh. new plants. So I'm, I planted them. I'm going to collect the dribble of honey. <laughs> okay, brilliant. We actually have a dribble of honey. Perfect. Feels so good, dude. Feels so good. And uh, I've got... Those frames, I put right back into the, the system. Oh, you love to so see they, it. Yeah. They just continue to flow. It's nonstop, yeah. man. That's good, because that we need... Glue is, like, literally the only thing that we're limited by now, I think. Okay. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful day. 
55 billa luckets of, of honey wooden canister. Do you do you know what we need after the the honey is processed? Uh yeah, we need a Oh, now that we've got honey, we can start putting it to good use and make some apicola. We need a fermenter, brother. We can do that. Uh, there's also a sawmill. We can also do it. We got beeswax. Beeswax. We got beeswax. We can make candles. We can make candles. We got honey dew, which we can sell. Apparently. <laughs> do, do you have the? Do you have the? Oh no! All the beeswax is in here. Oh my god! The frames are just going, man. It's so good. It feels it's so good, ending. honestly. It's really never ending. I'm I'm gonna try to make some. Uh, I'm gonna try to melt down this wax. I'm I'm melting the wax. You you Go need not it. be concerned. It's melting. Oh, I now have I now have wax in a tank. Oh man! Look at this. We're we're the best to ever do it, possibly. Oh, there's a. Oh, I thought that was you, merchant. He looks exactly like you. Where, where is he? He's right in the middle of the field. Nope, he ain't. <laughs> I do not see him. Enjoy you your see him like right here? Nope, he ain't there. Oh, well, I can buy some stuff. Yep, enjoy. He's apparated to me. I mean, we have no rupees, so... Yeah, we, we probably mean, need to sell some stuff at some point. Mysterious frame? Mysterious idol? Can we put that, like, in the middle of a beehive? Yeah, it can be used to pray to the hive mother, probably. So it's going to give us, like, extra productivity or extra lifespan or... Perfect. Oh, dude, I mean, it it's, it's, it's nonstop. The achievements just keep flowing. I also have made a candle. Oh, look at that. Sells for five rupees. I know. It just makes them. We, yeah, it's just you put the wax in and it just goes in there. And then when it reaches the top, it solidifies and turns into a candle. We we Dude, should we should nice. we should go sell some stuff. This is the yeah, perfect should, way to, to end the episode is selling our goods. We should absolutely sell some stuff. Uh let's let's sell I mean here's the thing. Technically the candles I need to make I need to make five candles to fulfill the requirement. So I don't really want to sell the candles yet. But uh I mean, we could sell some honeydew. Can go sell honeydew, yeah. Uh yeah. We sell glue? Yeah, we can sell glue. Not I very don't much. really think we want to sell glue when you said that glue is the main thing that's stopping us from, from accomplishing stuff. I did also get five glossy pearls. Did you get glossy pearls? Yeah, I, I yoinked we can, them. We, we can, I, I have them too. So Nice. We, we can sell that too. So I believe if we come down here. Hello, Nana. Can I? I found some bees, Nana. Thank you. Uh, apparently, Nana, I cannot sell things to. Oh, interesting. There's like a, a task board in town that has quests, but I need to discover bees before we can do quests. <laughs> but that yeah, will be fun. We've not managed to discover more bees. Oh, there's a massive infestation of giant oversized bees in this town. Yeah, I... Look, not important. Dude, I don't know how the hell we sell stuff to this guy. How do we sell stuff I, to anyone? I don't know. Oh, there's a microscope here. We could just use this one. Oh, can we just yoink it? Yeah, this this will tell us the, the traits about the bee. How do you sell <laughs> stuff, man? Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> bookshelf. Okay, I've got his bookshelf. Can I sell his bookshelf back to him? Oh, dude, why did we even bother building all this stuff? It's just, it's free for collection in I know, town. I know, the, they're crazy. I don't, I don't know how to sell stuff. Uh, maybe the skipper? I don't know. I'm like trying to, trying to figure it out in the, the little book. And they're just like, back in town, people will uh, buy your stuff. But sure don't seem like they're buying their stuff. There's got to be like an easy way to sell. Yeah, we must be missing something. Sell, sells for, for two. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's Beatrix up here. Hello, like hello, Beatrix. One person. 
Maybe maybe it's the ah I figured it out. You so it? the bottom of any of the shops, you can put stuff from your inventory in. We have nice. sixteen rubies, brother. Nice. The beginning of an empire. Hold on, let me sell this bookshelf. Oh my! We should just tear it. We should just tear. I don't know why we were doing this. Mike, this microscope. I can sell it for hundred and forty rubies. <laughs> like. <laughs> just tear apart the village what an incredible what an incredible get rich quick scheme <laughs> yeah. just destroy I, the tan I see no issues obliterate them all it's just that simple yeah kill all of them or uh, die trying oh, dude look at this look at this world it's huge we we got we got everything, and then the frames are all filled again, man. Oh, we also got two vibrant bees, one being a purebred. That's very exciting. I'm That's... I'm gonna try to to breed the vibrant common with the common to get another vibrant purebred, so that we can then take the purebred and breed it with a purebred, and then get a million vibrant bees for days. It'll be the perfect. um. Oh, for God's sake! Here we go. Um, yeah, what about, what about, I put down this microscope and you have a look at the bees. Is that going to help? Would, I would love to take a look at the bee and see what the stats on our, our vibrant queen are. Or our okay. vibrant, this vibrant guy. He's somewhere. He's in here. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. It's down. I'm, I'm popping the sucker in. Vibrant bee. Look at those stats. Oh, he's fertile. He's he's a fertile boy. He's very fertile, but very he also fertile. lives. He lives for like no time at all. I suppose and he's got. He also a, is a slow worker. Yeah, got to fit that fertility in whilst whilst he's around. Yep. But he do be fertile for sure. He's a rain. He's a rain lover, though. Have we actually seen any rain? No, I don't believe it's rain. I'm not We're only being funny. On four, but... I'm not being funny, but like. That's why I didn't build a roof on the house. I I see. Because we predict the future. Didn't need it. Didn't yeah. need it. I see. Well, I think that we have made some some insanely good progress today. Um, more. What what's going on with the walls? Oh, it must be a bug or something. <laughs> a little a little chaotic for sure. I just I had walls in my inventory. I'm yeah, like, and it's easier trying. to just place them randomly than to just put them in a chest look hindsight is 22 you complained about how the car looked now it doesn't look like a car and you're still complaining gonna gonna like hold on uh just give me a second it's very important the, the car now has a trunk which i think is a, a positive i mean yeah but it doesn't have a wheel so here, how, how about uh, God, sorry, I gotta chop down some trees. You wanna help me uh, chop down this forest real quick? Yeah, although I need to get an axe. Honestly, what good are you? <laughs> I've been asking myself that same question. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm here. Oh, that's all good. I already did it. Oh my god, you're such a child. It's just uh it's just a happy face, that's all. Anyway, um been real has been fun. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it as always, liking the video, much appreciate it. We'll see you in the next episode. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye. Bye bye.